see how far we make it. We're getting a pretty decent view of this mountain range over here, which on the main map is this mountain range in here on this island. Are they serving drinks? Are they serving drinks on this flight? These guys are getting thirsty. There's no stewardess. There's no room for a stewardess on this flight. That's too bad. That's, that's a major, major downer. In fact, there's no stewardesses at all in KSB because there's no females in KSB. I think we need female Kerbals, and we need them now. We need them yesterday. Forgo any other ma enhancements or anything. Get some KSP. Get some girls in KSP. If this is going out to classrooms, you're not you're not setting a good example, guys. Honestly, come on. Let's get some girls out here. Uh, I think everybody can handle it. I'd put a girl on my flight. I'll put a girl on every aircraft. You know, we'll balance it out. Uh, or maybe once every four flights, there's a girl at least, right? Uh, so I think that's fair. I think for the kids that are playing this, you know, they, they see there's no female Kerbals and they're like, what is this? So there they are. The crash site and the airfield are just disappearing off the scope now at 100, 100 kilometers. We are on our own. Um, we are over the water heading for the Antarctic continent, which is just a stone throw away. Antarctic mountain range. Isn't that majestic? So four hours and 41 minutes mission time. Um, we're leaving the Antarctic continent uh, mountain range behind us. So the Antarctic continent is just past the horizon now. So uh, we are heading back to the KSC. We're in a general, uh, generally a northerly direction now. Um, the funny thing was when we took off it was morning. We flew over the South Pole and we flew back into darkness and we're coming out uh, well ahead of the sun on this side of the planet. Okay, so we're over the island. I've changed course um, heading towards the uh, uh, peninsula that is mostly desert. Mission time is one day 16 minutes. Well, the sun is up. Um, I'm still over the ocean. We're going to fly over there and into light. We're into light already. Um, and in a nice sunny return home to the KSC, we'll fly through the, the mountains and behind the KSC here that everybody knows so well. I hope that everything goes well with the landing. I, I just noticed that, uh, yeah, the, the air, the, the, the wheels that were on the wings, uh, the the safety wheels are essentially gone, um, so they were destroyed. Um, um, I had that explode those explosions on the takeoff there, and I'm not exactly sure why they exploded, but they did. So uh, we're going to be landing at the KSC with no support wheels, and I just hope I can keep it nice and straight. We've made it to the shore. Uh, I'm going to fly through this range, and then I'll turn the aircraft almost completely east and head across the water here to the mountain range we all know so well. Game time, one day, one hour and three minutes. Flying over the desert mountain range. Crew members, or crew, are extremely bored. There's no movies on this flight. Although there is great scenery. <laughs> There are no windows! <laughs> That's a downer. Um, so we are probably getting, uh, you know, the engines are starting to take on some wear. So we've managed to make it quite a distance. And um, let's check our fuel. We have under 50% fuel left. So I'm glad to, uh, you know, be heading home. I'm glad that the mission is almost over and that everybody should return home safely. I've changed to a westerly course, um, 81 degrees. I, 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 I'm not going to go full on west until I get over the water and see exactly how I'm uh, how I'm tracking. Great scenery along the way. I wish there was a lot more places to stop and kind of explore. 
really I just created my own uh, static runway and loaded that in just for this for this uh, series. I wanted to uh, make use of that and see how well it performed. And I think I, I think it was pretty cool. Um, the code worked. I refueled the plane. It was a little bit slow, but um, all in all, everything worked as it should. Look at this crater. Tell me that's not a volcano. That's awesome. Where on the map are we? So right here, guys. It's an old volcano, perhaps. I've kept my altitude high, over 4,500, because that's when the second stage of the superchargers on these engines kick in. Can you see how much these engines are flexing on this, uh, on these uh, fuselages? Uh, I've, uh, in early uh, flight test flights, the engines were actually ripping off. <laughs> So, uh, the amount of thrust coming off those engines with the mass of the aircraft working against it in a turn or something like that, I'd have engines flying off. Uh, so, I had to strut them up. Here we have the vertical slats or vertical stabilizers. Um, they help the plane track straight, especially over you know, the 4,500 meters that we need to fly at to be most efficient. Um, you do get a lot of side slipping. Uh, what helps reduce that is a very strong tail section. You get that that streamlined, you know, you get that straight as an arrow kind of uh, handling that you need, especially with an aircraft that has this much mass. We're, we're not far from home now. Um, we have uh, 2,300 units of fuel left out of our maximum of 6,300. Um, we're still maintaining a decent speed. I throttled up on the engines a little bit um, to make up for our loss uh, of efficiency uh, due to you know, the reliability. The engines are slightly falling from a flight this long, which is good. This is exactly what ICE is all about. Mission time is one day, one hour, 39 minutes. I've been flying the flight mostly in 2X, so this has been a very long light in real life. It, it's basically been all night, plus yesterday. So uh, I have been flying many hours in this. Uh, oh god, I don't know what's going on. I think I ran out of fuel on this pylon. Shoot, this is not good, guys. What we got here? Oh my god, okay. This cannot happen so close to the KSC, please. Tell me this is not going to happen to me. To hurry up and balance out the fuel. I thought I had routed the fuel. Okay, so everything has fuel now. Let's restart these. Here we go. Oh my god, that scared me. I thought we were ditching, honestly. Okay, we are gaining altitude again. I gotta keep an eye on that. So, so what happened there was some of these en these engines are drawing off certain fuel feeds. Um, so, so uh, the stack here is basically pulling fuel. The stack here is pulling fuel. I thought I cross-fed these into the wing so that it would draw fuel through the wing. Um, apparently, I was wrong. We are in the home stretch. This is the main. This is the range close to uh, the KSC. Um, we're flying over it now. Uh, we're just at 5,800 meters, and we made it. Well, we haven't landed yet, so we're not going to say we've made it, but, uh, huh. KSC Tower, this is Oceanic 103 Mark Three, coming in for a hopefully safe landing. In fact, we're considering doing a, a test, in addition to our amazing landing. We're going to test our crew escape um, system. We're going to return these guys uh, in style, okay? Then we're going to turn around, we're going to make our landing. Um, hopefully nobody dies, that would be the worst thing to happen. Um, hopefully the plane isn't damaged. They kind of fly up and over and down, and then the 
chutes come out and they go down to the ground in safety. I, I've done a few tests of it uh, just to make sure that the system did work, but I never did tests with guys in it. So essentially, this is the first test. <laughs> Okay, so come flying over the runway now. I'm going to open up these cargo bay doors. And the first unit is nine, and that would be the, the group of four guys. The back unit is group of two guys. I'm going to release the first unit towards the front of the plane. Group of four guys. Now. Oh, no! <laughs> no! What? No! Okay, sorry about the language, guys. Oh, I gotta pull out of it. Jesus, no. No! Everybody dies! Oh! That is just wicked! That is wickedly horrible, though. Oh, whoa, wait, there's two, there's a guy in there still alive! <laughs> oh my god, look at this. There's damage everywhere. There's like hundred fires there this oh that was devastating devastating are those guys in the chute still alive there's no way they're still alive up there they took the wing off oh i can't switch to it so it just must be like debris floating down up there unfortunately okay that, that that's going to be on the outtake reel and we are going to release the first group of four guys in this ejection system here. In three, two, one, release. No! Oh! Oh! There they go down there, though. I think they're safe. Oh, we lost a guy. No! Oh! Group two? Yes! Group 2 survived! But we're going to redo this. I'm sorry, guys. This this is for the outtake reel again. Launch the first group. Oh! Launch the second group. Oh! That's just not good! Oh, my God. This is bad news. Release group 1. No! Are they safe? Yes! They're safe! Release group 2! Please! Please! Yes! Yes! We did it! We finally did it! <laughs> okay, that's awesome. <laughs> we had a little bit of a screw up. I think something was damaged. I don't know what. We're going to turn around. We're going to do our landing. Hopefully see those guys coming down still. I have the uh, the flaps down, creating a lot of drag. What's going to happen here is I'm going to get in line with the runway. I'm going to throttle back a little bit. Get in line with the runway. Use the tail surface just a bit. Yes, there's our group of guys coming down now. Okay, I'm going to slow our, our engines down. Reverse the forward engines. We've landed. We are on the ground, guys. We are on the ground. And look, they're just coming down. Oh, no! No! Shit. So that thing was not slowed down enough. I think a better shoot on that system. <laughs> a better shoot on that system might be worth uh, in investing in. Um, full brakes. And we are home. Switch over to these guys. We have three guys survived on this side. No guys, I don't think, <laughs> survived this. And we have, uh, an aircraft that is still flyable. Um, 
So, so you know what? It was a, it was an experiment. All the guys made it back to the KSC. Um, the ejection systems didn't quite work as I wanted to for the grand finale, uh, but we do have a lot of survivors still. I'm sure we're going to have good, uh, you know, packages for the guys' families who didn't make it. Um, you know what? Thanks a lot, guys, for watching the series. Uh, I know these videos are long, and I, I know flying around long distances and stuff is not exactly the most interesting thing in the world to watch. Uh, but some of you guys enjoy this. I had some comments. I had some uh, personal mail that said, hey, you know what? Do this again. And uh, I had I had enough of them to actually influence my decision in, 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 in that regard. And I'm glad I did it. I'm really glad I did it. I had a lot of fun. I feel like I've really accomplished something, and I'll see you again later.